I'm Matt from the Pickleball Clinic, and today I'm gonna to talk about the top three mistakes that are ruining your third shot drop. The third shot drop is one of the most fundamental shots in pickleball, but it's also one of the hardest to master. Thankfully, the technique can be relatively simple, so if we apply some specific strategies and techniques to it, we can get those drops more consistent. They'll help you work your way all the way up to the kitchen line. The first mistake that I see, especially among beginner and intermediate level players, is they overuse their wrist when they hit this shot. So right before the point of contact, I'll see players flick their wrist up this way on the forehand or this way on the backhand. What this does is it causes the paddle to accelerate right before contact so that you lose control of the ball because you're adding an extra bit of power to the ball that's very hard to control with a very quick motion with the wrist. Instead, we wanna to try to keep that wrist still. So when we go to swing for our shots, we're just swinging from our shoulder and lifting up. We're keeping the wrist still throughout the entire shot. So if I go to hit my drop here, I'm just lifting it. The wrist stays still the entire time. The second mistake is players taking way too big of a backswing. Many players will automatically take that backswing. It's just kind of second nature to a lot of players to take a big backswing. What happens is when you take that paddle back, you're gonna end up accelerating it more to get to the ball, and that's gonna cause the ball to pop up. So if I'm taking the paddle back, the ball is gonna go very high. It's gonna be very hard for me to control the ball down into the kitchen if I'm taking such a big backswing. This makes it very easy for my opponents to hit it out of the air. Instead, I'm just gonna leave that paddle out in front of my feet. I'm not gonna cross it back behind my body. I just want everything to be out in front the entire time. I wanna eliminate my backswing. So I'm gonna start with the paddle here in front of my feet, and I'm just gonna lift it up. This lift is gonna hopefully get the ball to bounce in the kitchen most of the time, because I'm not adding too much power by taking a gigantic backswing. And our third tip for your third shot drop is we want to follow through. A lot of players will stop the follow through, they'll hit the ball, and then that's as far as their paddle goes. They hit and they stop. And this creates a very, very inconsistent swing. It causes the ball to pop a little bit so you don't get that touch or that feel. We want to actually carry the ball up through our motion. So even though I'm not trying to hit the ball hard, I can still follow through. The backswing is what creates the majority of the power. The follow through just helps us control the ball with touch and feel. So after I make contact, I'm gonna lift the paddle up right to about shoulder level. So I'm not carrying it all the way across my body like I would a drive. For example, I'm not doing this. I'm just lifting it up towards my target so that I'm able to get that nice touch and feel. So those are our three mistakes that are ruining third shot drops for beginner and intermediate level players. Remember that first one is we wanna keep the wrist still throughout the motion. We don't wanna flick our wrist as we swing on the forehand or backhand side. The second one is we wanna be mindful of our backswing. A lot of players will take the paddle all the way back. This creates way too much power on the forehand and backhand side. It's gonna cause the ball to pop up. So instead, we wanna leave the paddle out in front of our feet and then lift from there. So we're not taking the paddle back behind the plane of our body. If I were to have a line going through my feet, the paddle would not cross behind it. We wanna leave it out in front. Our third mistake is not following through. A lot of players will tap the ball and then stop their follow through short. Instead, we wanna take that follow through all the way up to about shoulder level on both the forehand and the backhand side. This is gonna help us get that touch and that feel that lifts the ball over the net and makes for a very consistent third shot drop.